Hey guys, welcome back for more Timberborn. Look, look how excited these beavers are. <laughs> Shockingly excited. Why are they so excited, Sky? Well, I'm glad you asked me. They're excited because they're finally going to be able to worship their deity. They'll be able to send prayers to the supreme awesomeness because we're going to be building the temple of the supreme awesomeness right over here. This is going to be a huge and difficult build. We're going to be building the temple on top of the water wheels. And how are we going to achieve that? Well, we're going to be using the metal platform. This is how we're going to lay this out. The platform, I can't put this one in at the moment. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, these platforms are going to go like this. And you can kind of now see, oh, I see why he didn't want to run all the power cables are just simply across here yeah that's why because i want to be able to put these platforms in and as you can see they're quite tall and they go over the top of the water wheels perfect the problem we've got is that when we start to put like another row in we've got power things in the way so we've got to work around that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to put those in now, the problem with these things is they cost 200 metal blocks each. We are going to need literally thousands to do what I want to do. So let's get some metal. Let's go over here. Over here, we have some underground ruins. It's fairly close by. It's not too far away. So we're going to put in um, a little colony down here to just to do mining. Now, before we split the districts, I'm going to take advantage of beaver castle which is in range of this area to get everything built for the colonists who are going to move over here now i'm thinking we're probably going to have like either nine or 12 beavers here i haven't made my mind up nine or 12. um so i'll put in four of these small lodges uh they have three each so though so we'll have either three or four of these turned on and then we need uh what do we need we need access to these so boom boom and a couple of paths nice and then we want um i want these beavers working damn hard so i'm going to try and get their well-being up so let's come over here Where, what, what can we do well-being wise um that, that well, they can certainly have a campfire awesome um a rooftop terrace yes they can have a rooftop terrace we can put a rooftop terrace up there but some showers yes we can put some showers in let's put showers what do you think three three showers yeah three showers uh what else oh you know what we can give them we can give them shrines. Now, we're going to be using these over at the temple. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a key element of the build. But I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give them, we'll give them, I don't know, give them a couple of shrines. So they'll be a bit, a bit of a prey. They're throwing this together so quickly. We'll have this built in no time. Now, the only thing that we should really need to store over here is the scrap metal that we're going to ship back to, uh, to Beaver Castle to be smelted and then shipped off to the outcasts. So... Um, I'm just going to throw in a massive underground storage because, like, why not? And speaking of transporting the stuff back, we're going to need a couple of things. I'm going to throw in, let's see, I'm going to throw in a distribution post. Um, I'll go there. I'll go there quite nicely. Boom, that goes in. And what else? Oh, I want to put in a hauling post as well. Yeah, 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 that'll do. Right, all the buildings are built. Now, look at all the beavers coming down here to this storage. Why are they doing that? Because I've set this up to uh, to want certain things. So, uh, carrots. We'll get we'll get, get a few carrots. In fact, I'll crank the carrots up. Let's get 200 carrots in there to get started. We'll get um, some explosives. Uh, a whole bunch of gears. Uh, some grilled potatoes. And uh, a whole bunch of planks and a whole bunch of treated planks it's just occurred to me water water have you been screaming at the screen have you been screaming water you haven't given them any water that's a good point Paul. <laughs> oh it's only the most crucial thing in the entire game yeah okay let's, let's give them yeah you can giggle Go and play, go and play Dragonfly. She's playing Dragonfly at the moment, aren't you? I am, yes. How's it going? World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, the new expansion, Dragon. When did it come out? Uh, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago? Yeah. I, I hadn't noticed. 
<laughs> I hadn't noticed it came out a couple of days. I hadn't noticed that you'd been absolutely obsessed with it for the last, last couple of days. Is it good? Is it good, the expansion? Yeah, I love it. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, so um, so why am I getting like loads of planks and gears and, and treated planks and stuff? It's because up here at the underground ruins, we're going to put in the mine. <laughs> mine? <laughs> so that's a that's an in joke picture, especially with things like I don't know cookies and chocolates. She's like mine, mine, mine. mine. <laughs> so we're putting in the mine. What the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. I'm playing this game. <laughs> not um, <laughs> not faffing about. We need 250 logs, 350 gears, 200 treated planks. Logs, logs, logs completely forgot logs again what water and logs add food and you've got the three essentials and i forgot two out of three uh, it's impressive you've got to admit storage log pile i think let's throw in um i'm gonna i'm gonna throw in a couple of these actually and get loaded up with logs yeah that's that's a good plan so hopefully We've got tons and tons of logs around the place. Where? So somewhere, like, yeah, look, we've got loads and loads and loads of logs, 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 logs. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think they shipped um, pretty much everything that I want over here. Yeah, looking good. Out the water, we've got like 165 in there. Yeah, that's fine. Right, pause. All that remains now is to get rid of that tile there <laughs> i have planned this out that tile there we throw in uh what am i throwing in oh yeah, yeah i remember uh we throw in a gate to split the districts and then we throw in the dis the new district capital over here this is going to be called big ol <laughs> why is it going to be called big ol sky because um this got its name from um, one of the beavers asked another beaver, what's that over there? And he said, it's a big ol. <laughs> oh, that's big ol, isn't it? Um, as opposed to this one over here, this one, this district, which I've, I've decommissioned this. Um, this is deep hole. This deep hole and big ol. <laughs> right, so we're all done. Um, we've got the district capital in, we've got big ol. I think, I think we're all set to migrate some population. So what do we want to do? We want to take some population from Beaver Castle and send it to Big Ol. <laughs> that's going to that's make me giggle for days, that is. Big Ol. Uh, what, do we, what do we want in Big Ol? Uh, we want about... Um, what? Let's start off with... Uh, let's start off with, I think, nine beavers. Yeah, nine beavers will do. So, go. Go, go, go. Let's see our beavers coming over to live at big ol <laughs> here we go who have we got living at big ol load of them look and they're enjoying the new facilities look at oh they're, they're praying at the shrines they're praying at the shrines they're having a bit of a chill by the campfire they're up on the route they're all over the place these beavers that's a bunch of excited beavers I've put in the drop-off points, and this time I've learned my lesson. Uh, this is the drop-off point for food going into Big Ol', and then this is the drop-off point for other things. So, uh, over here, I've set up um, carrots and grilled potatoes and water all being shipped over to, uh, to Big Ol', uh, to this one. And then Big Ol' is shipping, shipping out the scrap metal over to, over to here, to... to um, not to Big Ol', to Beaver Castle. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Big Ol' now. <laughs> oh, dear, it is fun to say. Right, how are they doing up here? The mine. Oh, they're starting to take logs into the mine. Oh, I tell you what, this is going to take them a while. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to head on over to the Temple of Supreme Awesomeness. Look at this. We've built the first three platforms. Can you believe? Oh, this is gonna look. This is gonna look so good. Let's pause it for a minute. 
I'm going to make uh, a, a couple of changes over here. We're going to start off by ripping some stuff out. I'm going to take out... They're going. Also, these four at the front are going. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, oh, Sky, you're, you're throwing away all that power. Uh, no. no. I am throwing away a little bit of it. But, but not a lot of it, to be honest. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, so, right. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to throw in uh, four water wheels. Over here. Aha! I see where you're going with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doing a bit of redistribution. So we'll throw in, um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, four. Now, I'm going to have to do a bit of, uh, bit of dynamiting along here uh, and extend this power line so it hooks up to these guys. I think... I might just um, extend the power line all the way around here and hook it into, like, yeah, if I hook it into these pumps and then it's hooked into everything. That, you know what? I like that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, now that we've ripped that stuff out, we can put, uh, we can start putting in more platforms here. And I've got some uh, some ideas about um, decorating this bit down here. So we're going to be down four. Um, but this is producing like loads of loads of power. When you add in the wind power as well, we're generating probably excess. What? I mean, getting on for 10,000 power. So, um, so not too much of an issue. Right. At this point, we need metal. We need metal. We're coming up to the end of the drought. I mean, it was a fairly long drought. I mean, it was 26 days. And how is our water? We're almost at the bottom of this tile. So we have got, we've got one tile left. So we need to recover. To be full, we need to recover three tiles. So the question is going to be how much water we get, uh, how many days of water we get, and, and how, how much do we recover? Our builders doing a great job up here at the mine. They've already done all the logs. They're oh, about they're over halfway through the gears, and then we've got the treated planks to do. To speed things up, I moved another three beavers over here. So, um, so we now have twelve beavers, and I added a builder's hut. So currently, we have eight builders, so that we can get it done a bit faster. And then once it's built. Uh, those those builders can go away, and I think uh, I think nine is going to be perfect. We'll have uh, five guys working in the mine. We'll have two guys hauling, and then one guy shipping out to the distribution post, and that leaves us uh, one spare person who can I don't know sit around and and take showers all day. Day two of the wet season, water's pouring in. I mean, this is ticking up nicely. Uh, we need to get we need to get up to a full tile just so we can start pumping water again. Our water went our water stocks went from like four thousand down to what are they at the moment like twelve hundred. So, yeah, I mean, a, tw a twenty six day drought handled that no problem. It really is just a case of uh, do we fill up? Look at this. While I was over looking at the water, it's only day three. They finished the mine. Woohoohoo! Okay, so we want uh, we want five workers working here. This is going to be um, this is going to be a priority workplace. Let's go down here. We can uh, we can get rid. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to pause the builders' hut. Currently, we've got ten ten beavers. How oh, we got only got ten beavers? Oh, have we had, well a couple of them have died of old age. Okay, well we'll re we'll replace those numbers. They'll probably get busy right right now. Oh look, the lights are on. <laughs> They're like we need two more beavers. Get to work. <laughs> oh, so, um, so yeah. And here they go. They've got the gears. They've got the treated planks. And... God, dear, it takes them a while. 3.6 hours. And there we go. We've got our first scrap metal. Hooray! We're producing metal. <laughs> well, our beavers are pumping their logs frantically. Furiously, you might even say. But we're still, I was going to say, we're still going up. It, it looks like, oh no, it's still going up. And look at this, our water levels. Well, so we've, we've now, we've gone from having one tile of water 
to uh, over three tiles of water. So we've recovered brilliantly. Uh, we've got half a day left. So yeah, we're going to be we're going to be essentially full. That is great. I tell you what, cutting down on the on the evaporation has made a huge difference. I think. Oh, I'm going to say that's a success. Okay, this was a bit unexpected. The beavers working in the mine get injured a lot. We've already got three injured beavers. So I think we, we're going to have to throw in a healer over here. Look, it's already up to four. <laughs> we've only got... We've only got, How many beavers are here? We've got ten beavers. Four of them are injured. This is our doctor. Dr. Hickribass. He's just been distributing medicine to the medical beds. And we now have medicine. I think in all of them. Yeah, yeah, he's um, he's been... He's been cracking on. He's got all of the medicine shipped in. So, hopefully... Yeah, look, look at this. Our beavers. We've only got one injured now. So, hopefully, that's fixed that problem. Well, the scrap metal is coming in. And uh, we are working on the, the next platform. Which is uh, this one over here. We're at 96 of 200. But, my God, it's happening slowly. So, I think we need to, um, we need to sacrifice these ruins. To be honest... Not the worst thing in the world, because even though I love the look of them, they actually kind of get in the way of the view of the temple. So they're going to have to go. Now, now this, this means that we need more than one smelter. So we're going to get on with uh, a project that's part of kind of the long-term goal. Pause for a second. First thing I'm going to do, delete tool. Rip out these builders here. We don't want those. You can go rip out this path that can go um i'm gonna rip it now ah now i've got to be careful here because this is the gatherer for the dandelions if i get rid of that we'll have some problems so i'll probably move him i don't know i'll move him over here um yeah i'm gonna get rid of most of these potatoes as well what we're gonna do here is extend the uh, the upper reservoir this is the upper reservoir, and then down here is the main reservoir. So I, what I want is for this to come across here, but I want a kind of a, an indent in the centre, and maybe even a couple of indents. I think that's the footprint that I want. Yeah, it looks, that looks about right. Let's finish putting these, uh, these tiles in. This should, this should look all right once it's done. I don't know. See about decorating the walls and see if we can make it look pretty right get on with that beavers our water stocks are running a little bit low we're down to 1200 and we've got seven days left so um i've, I've thrown in the emergency pumps uh, just four down at the uh, at the bottom level i know there's this hole here but so these pumps will be running and then if i want them to we'll have four pumps here uh, usually i think we won't run them it, it'll just be we'll rely on the stocks it kind of depends on the length of the drought but we'll get this done hopefully they'll get this done in time that we can actually get some water from them because i i think we're actually going to need it well we've suddenly got a lot of thirsty beavers <laughs> and the reason is i've been looking at this and thinking oh, i've got 1200 water that's fine I, i'm so used to just managing this colony I forgot about the water storage over here. That's 600. And the water storage over here. That's 600. <laughs> so all the water isn't in this colony. We've got these two built now. And they are starting to... Well, they should be, they should be pumping water. Is that one pumping water? Yes, that one's pumping water. Um, so as a temporary fix... Are you carrying are you carrying water? I think you are. Yes, carrying water. I'm shipping some of the water from here over to uh, over to here. So hopefully we can avoid I, I mean if we get through it with nobody dying, I'll be shocked. Oh, no, we, apparently apparently we're not doing too badly. Has anybody died? Nobody's died of thirst yet. 
And we are shipping the water over there relatively. I, I think we should avert this crisis. Uh, I'm probably going to need to put in uh, a couple more pumps, which was not, it's not an ideal situation. But how long we got? We've, we've only got to avoid uh, like 5.2 days. I, I think we'll manage. Well, the drought's almost over. 0.3 of a day left. We've almost got a fifth pump in. We've got the log. Somebody just needs to come and build it. Uh, and we are at uh, 450 water. How much have we actually got here? We've got none here now. We're down to, what, 100 or so over here? 40, less than, like 60-odd over there. So we really need this water to come in. The thing is, we're, we've still got a full tile of water left. It's just that I hadn't put these emergency pumps in. Because I, I thought our supplies would be um, enough to last, but we didn't fully replenish them last year. So, uh, so yeah, putting these pumps in, very good idea. I'll probably put a sixth one in. I, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. Water's almost up to... Uh, that's it. Right, so those stopped working. So what we need to do now is pause all of these. <laughs> oh, it's fun, isn't it? What I don't know. It's like you think you're on top of things and then suddenly, boom. Where the hell did all the water go? And then I've got to unpause all of these. Because uh, we, we don't have like a lot of spare beavers in Beaver Castle. So is that every? Yeah, that's 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 them all done. So now we can get back to um, regular pumping service. <laughs> oh, look at those logs go! Oh, really? Only only three days of water before the warning again. So a total of six days of water. Man, like, it would be really nice to have an extra day or two of water. It seems recently I only get, like, six days and that's it. Come on, game, be kind to me for a change. Seriously? Another 29-day drought. <laughs> like, that was not what I needed right now. Um, I mean, we'll survive. We'll be fine our water levels up to uh two which means that we've got three tiles of water because this is this is standing on one tile so we've got three tiles of water we've got the we've got the extra pump the emergency pumps in now so so will we survive this 29 day drought yeah we'll survive it it'll be fine um but it's going to take us a while to recover our stocks and yeah it's it's not great actually looking over here i need to release a little bit of water into here this has gradually gone down. It's the first time I've looked at it since I uh, since I started this whole session. So I don't know how however long that was. Uh, so yeah, but we're 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 right down. So um, yeah, we've got we've got water. We can do it. Meanwhile, back at the temple, I can actually do uh, I can actually do a little bit more of this. So what do I want going on here? Um, I do want two more platforms going on there and there this is going to be the central dais or dais for the uh, for the prayer to take place we're going to have a uh, a big statue on it should i put it in you know what i'm going to put it in now monuments we're going to unlock the tribute to ingenuity it costs twelve thousand science good job we've got loads yes please and this is it and it seriously this is awesome this thing because when you power it up, it actually has got moving parts. It's <laughs> brilliant. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then behind that, we're going to have um, a, a, a facade. Yeah, I love that word. I, I can't use that word enough. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah building a facade. So I'm gonna, just going to grab some levees. Uh, we're going to have levees going in here. The water will still flow. And even though it's going from two tiles to one... It won't make any difference. Uh, so we want this up to that level. Great. And we'll do 
another one behind it because I want I want to do something kind of fancy. Right, let's let them get that built. Um, there's gonna be there's gonna be another another thing going on over there and another thing going on over here. Cool. Oh, it's gonna start to take shape now. How close are we to getting this? We're at 171. Woohoo! I mean, it's happening. It's gonna be slow. But, he said, going back over, oh, they've almost finished this. And you know what? They've done enough that, yeah, they've done enough that I can, I can take out this wall. So this can go, uh, all of that can go. Whoa, look at the water flood out. Awesome. Perfect. What I want to do up here is put in four smelters because we're not producing metal blocks anywhere near fast. We've only got one smelter running. We've got loads of scrap. We've got 300 scrap. We just need to turn it into, into metal. So uh, metal and the smelter. Uh, this one, the middle one. One, two, three, four smelters going in. I've just thrown in a little bit of scaffolding. Uh, this is temporary but it's to enable them to actually access the whole the whole build really so i've prioritized this and prioritized uh, getting this platform in um this is the next one that uh, was going to be completed or, to be honest that can wait uh, this is the one that we really need to get built and then we if we get these three built behind which i've got as the as the next highest priority then we can get all of these completed and then, yeah, and then we're going to be kind of set because then we'll have access to, like, pretty much everything from that point. Well, it wouldn't be a proper episode, would it, without at least one big bang? <laughs> at least that's what picture says. <laughs> oh, dear. So let's... What? What are you going about? Um, wow. Okay, that was a big one. <laughs> uh, oh, it's too deep. I've got to... Oh. I've been waiting ages for them to, to do that. I've got to get them to do it again now. Good Lord. But once we've done that, that is the entire lake system. All down to four tiles. So I've just got to do that one now. And and that's it. It's, it's done. It's finished. Hooray. And there was much freaking... Well, there will be much rejoicing once I've done that. Look at this. The uh, the hydro plant has shut down. And that's deliberate. This is an emergency shutdown. Auto, an automatic emergency shutdown. I looked at this and I was like, when I, when I changed the water level, I was like, oh, I, I need to move that pump down so we can get to the bottom. And I was like, hang on a second. If we've only got one tile of water left, do I really want to be pumping it into this? And the answer is no, because we can live without power. I mean, just like the, the, the factories will just wait until we've got power. But we can't live without, you know, the water. So I left it like that. And I just, I just came up because I was over at the, I was over at the mine. Uh, I came over here and I was like, ah, we must have what less than a tile of water. And indeed we did oh and now we've got more than a tile of water <laughs> and this has started to fill up automatically again you know what i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna pause that and i'm not gonna fill it up i'm gonna wait until we get back to a a, a decent water level we've had I, i've got to say i think we've had some bad luck with the um the, the long droughts and the really short wet seasons it's it hasn't been good the drought has finally ended thank god um and we've we've got more than a tile left just a, a little bit more than a tile so um i i'd say that was a pretty good season we're we're getting on with this it's slow going we've almost finished this one this one we well, know which one was it uh, this one's at 82 so it is moving it is moving it's moving slowly uh so 
what I decided was these guys over here don't have all that much to do. So I took six from here. I shut down uh, a, a second house. So there's only 12 beavers living here. And I moved them over to the mine. And I put in, uh, put in a little house here. A little ramp. <laughs> Passed the time for me. Uh, so yeah, we have now got 10 guys working in here producing scrap metal so apparently with 10 guys you produce uh two scrap metal every 1.8 hours or something so yeah we're we're getting on with the dynamiting we've oh we've finished all that area so they've just got to backfill in that path i'll do uh, i'll do this one while i'm here oh I'm in the right place already uh let's get rid of that and throw in even more dynamite there we go let them get that finished and then that's that's the dynamiting done i've actually turned off dynamite production completely now and i th i think i can bite the bullet and get rid of these two i well yeah i'm going to because i don't want them down here anymore so those two can go now i've been doing um I've been doing a little bit towards um, reducing evaporation. So I realized that this reservoir up here doesn't actually need to be a big reservoir. Uh, I do want um, it to act as irrigation, although I have got like irrigation channels in, so it's not like a big deal. But uh, So I filled this in with levees and filled this in with levees. I've also down here started filling this lake in with levees uh, and just leaving channels one tile wide channels for the water i did the math on this just on this piece here that will save me about 130 tiles a season that's 130 tiles of water per season so I've probably saved myself like 250 tiles of water per season. That hopefully is going to start to add up. I mean, like what we'll see over time, I guess. What well, guys, you you are not going to believe this. You picture, you're not going to believe this. What? It's day four of cycle 75, and we're still getting water. <laughs> we haven't had the drought warning yet. So, uh, oh, thank God. It's about blooming time. I can't remember the last time I had more than three days of water before the drought warning. So we will get at least seven days of water. Oh, that is awesome news. We may even get into a position where we can, we can fill, the, <laughs> fill the hydro plant again. That would be, um, that would be kind of good news. Time to put the factories in, I think. So, how am I going to do this? I can't do it the way I wanted to do it. Because what I would have loved was to, would to put them like that. But I can't. I, they've got to be that way. So, I think if we have two there, and then flip it around and have two there. And then what do I want? I want two gear factories... Yeah, if I put gear factory, gear factory, and then if I want, I can even have a third one there. I'm not going to put it in now. Two's enough. And then uh, planks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we do planks, planks, and I've got room in the future if I wanted to add a third in an emergency. Well, would you look at this? Wow. Two days still to go in the drought. And we're still, we're still pumping from the first set of pumps. So <laughs> that looks awesome. I think what I'm going to do is throw in a whole bunch of extra water storage. Yeah, th I think that's got to be the way to go. Right, I think that should do it. An extra 10 barrels going in. Oh, and the good news just keeps on coming. Oh, we have only, we've got a 15 day drought. That's the shortest it can be. Oh, 
Okay, that is really good news. Okay, so um, we are at, well, we're at essentially max. Uh, 2.5 is is what I regard as max. So, yeah, we're looking good. Look, look how high the water level is. Now, since we've got everything built on the roof of the keep, it's time for the most... This is the part that I enjoy the most. Ripping out all the old crap. <laughs> Isn't that the best bit? Oh, absolutely. I, I think I'm going to leave that road in. Am I going to leave that? No, I'm not going to get rid of the road as well. Uh, all of that goes. Yes. Um, I'm going to leave these two in for now because we are going to need more treated plants. Um, treated planks. Uh, but they're going to have to be moved somewhere. You know, actually, you know what? They would fit there and... Oh, my Lord. I mean, seriously, you would think that... that some deity or maybe that maybe the supreme awesomeness himself has reached down and just created the perfect space look i mean could that be any more perfect um what do we need cogs plank no you know no just do it flip it around boom okay let's rip them out that one goodbye this one goodbye <laughs> oh it's so much fun we're, we're making like big strides i think uh, yeah that can go and all of that can go goodbye look at the sheer space we've got now oh <laughs> it's a thing of beauty i had this idea <laughs> how many times have you heard that i had this idea because I, I want this to look like a gatehouse uh and i did think how would it look I'm done this, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look. I'm thinking if we come out like, yeah, to there, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I want to go three high, I think, I think. So if we do something like that, and then what I was thinking was um, triple floodgates. Yeah. Yeah, triple floodgates, like this. Just to create kind of a, an entranceway, gateway kind of feel. Well, we've got three more days of water. Well, 2.7. We're already up at 2.7. So we're almost at our four tiles. Because remember, we've got, we've got that one at the bottom. So I, I, I think we uh, I think we need to do this. So uh, let's do it. I don't know whether we're going to be able to store all this water. I th it's actually a concern. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it's, uh, it's a marvellous turnaround. Oh, we've got more water than we know what to do. With. Look. We've got one and a half. To okay, this is actually an issue. Pause. We, we're we're, we're going to start overflowing areas, which is not not great actually <laughs> i can't believe it goes from one extreme to the other like this you know i you know what that's what we're going to do i'm going to dynamite this so let's get let's just remove all of the, i can't believe i'm going to get rid of all of this <laughs> it took me ages to build it there we go so that's all gone so now let's slide down and watch the water well And it pours in there. Mind you, when you realise that, like, how much is coming in, it's not actually that much. I mean, that's not going to have done. No, we, we, no we're, we're maxed. Well, the only thing I can do is release water into here. Um, yeah, kind of got to. So, go. Okay, awesome. Right, we've got one and a, I mean, one and a half days. It's kind of crazy. Okay, no, we, we, we need to leave that going. Because is the, is the water level going down? I don't think it's like, 
doing much. No, it's still at three. <laughs> Even with these floodgates open. My God. Okay, so we're filling that up. I can't believe we're going back to filling this up. Isn't it crazy the the difference in the amount of water? Uh, the, the droughts are incredible. We're at one point. What? Still got one point one taste of water. I can't. Seriously, I can't believe it. Can you believe it? All right. So, could my voice go higher? <laughs> <laughs> I just heard myself. I was like, what? The hell was that? We're still venting water just to try and stop from... Like, really? I mean, one minute I'm desperately fighting to have any water at all. And the next minute I'm, I'm worried about flooding. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. So we've only got one more. So this one... We, we're at 63 of 200. We only need to finish that one, and we've completed the centered dice. Now, this thing, boy, does this take some resources. 300 metal blocks, 400 planks, 200 gears. Wow. And they've already started bringing the planks. Jeez. Okay. This is, I mean, this project is, in terms of resources, this is just a crazy project. And the great, th the great thing about investing all these resources in this project is it gives us nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It is pure sky candy and nothing else. It has no practical value or application <laughs> whatsoever. Well, I think at this point, it's time to kind of summarize where we've got to. Uh, we are on <laughs> cycle 78, day 10. We've got more water than we know what to do with. Look, we've got, we've got almost 6,000 in stock. Um, all but one of these new barrels are full. We've got a couple there and these still to fill. So we're going to have, I don't know, seven 8,000 water. The, uh, the hydro plant is chock full of water. In fact, I've overfilled it because we had so much water at the end of the wet season. Uh, it's running at full capacity. We have the temple foundations. Well, the the main dais or dais, depending on on your preference, is uh, is in. The foundations of the back wall of the facade are in. I can't believe how much metal it takes to <laughs> to build these things. It's insane. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna dynamite this. I haven't detonated it because I haven't made a final decision. I have uh, finished running this power line out here and I have actually raised it up ready to run a power line across here, across here and I've actually dynamited this ready to run it down here and hook it into our power network to power the keep. Now the keep, I am so pleased with the keep. Let's have a really nice look at it, shall we? I I think it's looking pretty good at this point. Still still needs one or two little details, but generally speaking, I'm very very pleased. It's really coming together. I mean, the keep itself, there's gonna, there's going to be some some bits and pieces around, but generally speaking, I think the keep is done. I'm happy with the battlements. I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. I love it. But there's still a huge amount to, of work to do on the rest of it. We've got to put in the Bailey wall. We've got to finish the moat. And to finish the moat, I want to build out this side so that it's actually actually curved. And to do that, we're going to have to get we're going to have to get golems, the robots, and the. Uh, we've got to excavate dirt and then create new tiles and it's a whole thing but for now we're gonna leave it there guys what a blooming episode um i hope you enjoyed it i had an absolute blast as always you're gonna come back for the next one leave me a comment i'll catch you for the next one peace out